y'all. So let's get started. I haven't really been wearing makeup. I've more so been focusing on skincare. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with another moisturizer. I moisturized my face when I washed it this morning, but um, I want something with an SPF because I am trying to lighten up these lovely dark marks. So today I'm going to be mixing uh, two moisturizers from Clinique. This is the Pep Start Nourishing Moisturizer Broad Spectrum 20 SPF. And this is the Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. Whoa. Moisturizer. Now I like this one because it's really rich um, and of course it's an SPF and this one because it has a little bit of like that smoothing effect like you would get from like Benefit Primed and Poreless or like the Maybelline Baby Skin. So I take both um, and just, I concentrate this one mainly on the T-zone area because I feel like it does have some silicone in it. Um, don't quote me, it just has that silicone-y feel. Um, so I don't really use a lot of it. but. We're gonna do that. So I'm gonna use some soap for my brows really quick. For that, I'm gonna use Max um, Deep Dark Brunette Brow Cream. I recently cleaned out my makeup and I came across a lot of old MAC products that I used to love. I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up with um, Toffee from LA Girl. And I don't really fold the top of my brow because every time I do it, it comes out looking dumb. Um, so that's just going to be what it is. <laughs> Alright, even though I went in with two moisturizers that could act as a primer, I'm still going to go in with my um, Too Faced Hangover RX primer. Just to add a little bit more moisture. And I like this because it gives a tacky layer even though my moisturizers pretty much already did that. Like, I really love those two from Clean. Um, when this whole quarantine thing is over, I think I might go ahead and actually get the full size version. So, for foundation today, I'm using Max Studio Sculpt, and I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand and then disperse it out via a brush. I need to order a new one of these because I think mine is like old and separating. I can't really tell. Like, it. it so I'm gonna dot this on, and this is a full coverage hydrating foundation. It has a gel formula. So hopefully I won't need to go in with concealer on my dark spots. Um, the most I'm trying to have to do is color correct, which, you know, is no big deal. Now, like I said, I'm going to take toffee to highlight, but I'm going to mix that with a little bit of warm honey, also from LA Girl. To contour, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade Neutral Chestnut. And I really like this shade because it contours, but it also gives me like a warm bronze type of finish. I like when this concealer dries down, but I really don't have time to sit here and wait. So I'm just fanning it to speed the process up a little bit. So I'm just going to blend this out with a domed buffer brush.
I want to add a little bit more brightness under the eyes, so I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tint Concealer in the shade Tan. And I'm just going to apply this like right on the inner corner of the eye. I tend to over highlight, so I'm trying to like <laughs> refine. And I'm just lightly like um, decreasing pressure as I blend out so that I don't have any harsh lines. Okay, now it's time to set all this. So right before, I'm just gonna like lightly blend out my nose. Strip. But honestly, I kinda wanna leave it the way it is. And I can soften it with powder later. I think I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder to set this today. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to take a brush. Uh, I'm not going to bake, but I am just going to pat this on all the areas that I highlighted. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Cover FX Translucent Deep Powder. I'm going to use a little bit of the Rumor 4 from P. Louise. I'm just going to dot a little bit and blend it out because I already have some of my concealer on the lid. So I don't really need too much, but I know I'm going to be using a lighter color. So I want to make sure that, you know, it can pop. I'm just going to blend this out real quick. So I know I'm going to over exaggerate this inner contour area. So before I do anything on my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose real quick. I'm gonna take this small uh, pointed blender and I'm gonna be using Max Swiss Chocolate. Concentrate this in that little inner corner area. Next, I'm gonna use the same brush and go into the Juvia's Place Zula palette. And I'm gonna use this warm brown. This is probably one of my favorite warm browns ever, um, next to Max Brown Script. And I'm going to start in that same inner corner pocket that I emphasize with my contour. And I'm gonna start to create the shape that I want. So I'm gonna bring this across my upper crease area. And then cap it at the outer corner. Boom. I'm not going to worry about blending the edges because I'm going to go in with another shade to do that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. I want to add a little bit of definition, so I'm going to use Aubergine from the Anastasia Artist Palette. Alright, and because I want 
to make sure that you can actually see my lid color, I'm gonna add a little bit more of that base just to create a little bit of negative space without having to necessarily do a cut crease. Next, I'm going to go into a mix of Dusty Rose from Anastasia and what blush is this? Breath of Plum by MAC. Okay, Dusty Rose is not giving me what I want, so I'm just gonna go straight into Breath of Plum. Next, I'm going to go into Peaches Blush. I'm gonna use that to blend out the um, edges of our first transition shape. I'm gonna use the same colors on the lower lash line. Boom. Now I can't leave this matte like this. I'm gonna put a pigment on the inner corner. I think I'm gonna mix this Inglot 118 with Max uh, Rose Glass Pigment or Rosy Glass Pigment. I think that'll give me the effect that I'm going for because one is too gold and one is too pink I kind of want like a really soft rose gold feel so I'm just gonna use a dry um, this is a Sonia Kashuk 103 it's a eyeshadow brush but it's not dense it's uh, flat and kind of flimsy but I like using these for pigments when I just want like a, a light wash of color oh I think that'll be pretty And to intensify that a little bit more, I'm going to go into the Nicole Guerrero um, Anastasia Glow Palette and just brighten up my inner corner. Mine is all busted, so, but I'm going to use the shade Glow Getter in 143. And just do that like that. Yeah. And then just blend, blend the brow bone out with a little more of that rosy glass so that it's not so harsh. I'm just gonna use my NYX liquid liner to give my lashes an anchor. I never actually contoured my face, so I'm going to use Swiss chocolate again. And just set that contour. Slash bronze. And then for blush. Okay, I'm gonna use Breath of Plum. Mix with a little bit of peaches. Oh, great. I'm gonna line my lips with chestnut lip pencil, also by MAC. And we're gonna go in with Peach Thought Lipstick. This is an oldie but goodie. And I'm gonna mix Lust Lip Glass with um, Just Like Honey from the Mariah Carey Collection. I 
actually, I want something a little more peachy. Go in with the NYX Lip Lingerie and Push Up. And I'm just gonna keep mixing colors until I get what I want. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. While my battery was getting its life together, I went ahead and fixed my wig and put some mascara on my lower lash line. Now I'm getting ready to pop on some lashes. These are um, one of the samples from my lash line that um, unfortunately has been put on hold due to this whole coronavirus. But I'm going to plop these on. They're really beautiful. And I was never really like a 25 millimeter girl, but um, I love fluffy lashes. And I think that's why I decided on um, this particular vendor. But I'm really excited. And y'all are gonna see. The lashes are gonna take this look to like a whole nother level. This is the look. I'm kind of loving it without a highlight. I didn't do, you know, so this is what it's giving. I like. <laughs> now I wish we can go outside. So I actually had somewhere, you know, cute to wear this too. <laughs> mm -mm. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please hit that notification bell so that you get a little bloop every time I post a video. Um, if you have any look recommendations, products you want me to try, please let me know down below. I feel like I am so out the loop. So any little bit of help, you know, I'm going to take it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Please stay inside, stay safe. And as always, I love you guys so much. Bye.